Hey, this is Dr. Caldwell Miller with Dr. Miller's Guide to Neurology, and we've been talking about headaches, and today I'm going to talk about Effexor. Effexor is an antidepressant we use for headaches, and it's a very good antidepressant. Um, we use it a lot in depression. We use it a lot in people that are depressed and anxious. Very, very safe. Minimal side effects. Um, all antidepressants cause drowsiness. The effects can cause some constipation and nausea, which I rarely see. Um, <clears throat> rarely you see anxiety, um, and rarely you can see serotonin syndrome. And these patients, I think, probably don't need serotonin, and you put them on Effexor and you don't follow them closely, they get more and more anxious and tachycardic and get the syndrome of serotonin syndrome. So you put somebody on Effexor, they get too anxious. You have to really be aware of the seroton serotonin syndrome. Um, we start very low doses. You know, once again, always start baby doses. There's no emergency here. Go slow, 37.5 milligrams a day, and increase gradually. I usually give them that for two to four weeks and then go to 75 milligrams. The pain pathways really need up to 225 milligrams. It's hard to get people there. So usually 75 to 150 milligrams. Um, it's a great drug for headache patients that are anxious. So if I see a young person, say for example, a young female is very anxious, um, Effexor would want, be one that would pop in my mind and I would consider using. So that's Effexor. Well, like my channel, make comments, subscribe, and we're going to keep talking about headaches and, and other topics in neurology.